Specialist Ironhide. My name's Stephen Felk, and for a living, I'm a handyman. I, I'm a Gary Jin, and I'm a computer engineer by trade. My name is Ray Billings. I'm from El Dorado Hills, California. For years, I was a mechanic. The thing that is interesting about RoboGame is Dave does a really good job of getting the entire field of competitive robots in there. RoboGames does have an, an international attraction. There are people that come from all over the world to compete here. And there are some really good top-notch teams that come from other countries. One of the coolest things they, they started about three years ago is a thing called Mecha Warriors. And they're humanoid robots about this tall. And they fight with airsoft guns. And so when these robots fight, they have to go into the cityscape and fight each other, but they're fought through vision goggles. So you can't see the city at all. The only thing you can see are the cameras that are on the robots. I've never been that obsessed with winning. The two things that I want to happen, and this is what I really strive for, is I want the machine to work the way it was designed. I want the robot to do what it was supposed to do, to function and do all the things that I wanted it to do, and then I want to drive well. And if I do those two things, I'm happy. For the heavyweight, you know, uh, Original Sin and, and Sewer Snake, my two arch nemesis in the heavyweight category, they're both here. And either one of those machines can beat me. I expect a top three or four finish for last rights. We'll just kind of have to see how the event plays out. Uh, we're hoping to get a couple of gold medals here at RoboGames. Uh, it's going to be a tough fight. And it turned out that he had taken one of my axles and driven it into the side of the motor and blew off the magnet inside. At RoboGames, we're all very, very friendly with each other until the doors of that box close. And then it's on. We'll lend parts and tools and help to the guy who's gonna try to beat us up in a few minutes just so that we can both be in there and have a fair fight. I mean the sportsmanship side of the, of the sport is a little strange. I mean it's really like a mega thing. I mean they really really want the other guy to do well. It's just you want to beat him. Uh, but what I really like about it is the fellowship and how the builders all bond together. We're all willing to help each other. I don't think I've met a builder that people don't like. You know, everyone here is helpful. I trust all of these guys. They'd all loan us stuff. We'd loan stuff to them. And even if we're fighting them, it's just a big fellowship. It's a lot of fun. One of the things I really enjoy about being here at the Rebel Olympics and uh, being here among every other builder is the camaraderie as well as just the, the energy that's involved with the crowd. so much about life that you just, you have no idea whether or not you're doing a good job. You know, whether in friendships or relationships. Fighting robots is one area you absolutely positively know whether or not you're doing a good job. And it's real clear you did or it's real clear you didn't. And the most important thing to me about the whole sport 
is the educational aspect of it. I would love to see the day where every high school and every middle school in the country has a basketball team, a baseball team, a football team, a track team, and a fighting robot team. One of the, one of the great things about combat robots is it's kind of, yeah, I heard one guy refer to it as stealth learning. You're learning a lot, you just don't really view it like you would view it as a class. Well, this is absolutely a class. You're learning more in a weekend doing this than you do in a year in, in, a, in an engineering study class, because this is applied engineering.